All right, what is up, you guys? We're back here with chapter two of Dear Star Boy. <clears throat> last time, oof, I just no, I couldn't last time. But yeah, anyway, again, if you absolutely adore Dear Star Boy and are offended by any comments I make about it, then click out of the video now. All right, good. <clears throat> get started tom is lowercased again everything is lowercased Ugh, okay gonna ignore that tom hunched himself over his oak desk brown rings of where coffee had spilt over the rim of his mug staining the wooden surface an assortment of different assignment papers were splayed splayed okay splayed messily beneath the stressed students swollen elbows school what was the point Honestly, what is the point? This is like one of the most relatable sentences. Is it a sentence? I don't fucking know. But it's the most relatable sentence in the whole goddamn fanfic right now. Clank! Tom's head whipped around hastily to find the source of the sudden noise. Something hitting against his window pane. Pain. Yeah, he slid open the creaky window to be met with the same boy from earlier. Oh shit, what up? It's Tord. Tord had one leg slung over the window ledge dangling above the fatal drop and another inside his room. He's in a thought position. Sorry. His back was pushed against the slick red frame, a clear bas bastic, <laughs> a clear plastic bag of jelly beans sitting between his split legs. Go get those jelly beans, Tom. Go get them. God, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> this time his flower crown was gone. His hair was tied back into a pathetic little ponytail. He wore sky-blue denim shorts and a matching blue sweater that hung off one shoulder, revealing a black strip from the vest he wore underneath. His jewelry had been stripped and his bright smile seemed dimmer. Oh no, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? I don't fucking know. Hey, kitty boy. Tord practically yawned the sentence. Oh, he yawned it. Well, I'm not going to go back and read that shit. But his words were still clear as day. Why was Tord still awake? I don't know. Insomniac, maybe? Who the fuck? Hey, why are you still awake, Tom? The fuck? Tord, Tom icily replied with a trace of a scowl. He was surely exhausted from the mountains of work, yet he found himself settling down on the windowsill to have another conversation. What are you doing this late? It's midnight. Tord's expression quickly flicked to concern. Oh, I thought that was Tor Tom saying it. But at least you actually put who said what in this shit. <clears throat> Revision, don't you have school too? Nope, domestic college tuition, the Norwegian grinned proudly. Huh? My tutor comes to place my to what? Ugh. Ugh, that's me. Okay, that's me. My tutor comes to place my teach. That's me. <laughs> I cannot read that. Whoa, yeah, I'm pretty cool, huh? Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I second that. Tord sighed and reached to grab something out of sight. He retrieved a metallic coffee flask, holding it with shaky hands. He had miniature stars printed up the sides in rainbow colors. Why is your hand shaky? Are you fucking nervous to talk to Tom already? <laughs> Tom scoffed at the design and arched a questionable brow. Stars? Um, duh. Lame. <laughs> lame! Stars aren't lame. They're so cool. Tord practically jumped towards the window as something sparked in his eye. Was it passion? I don't fucking know. God, he's like over-exaggerating everything. Well, he probably does watch fucking hentai and anime and all that shit, so of course he's probably going to be the exaggerating type. Tom shook his head in disagreement, whilst his neighbor angrily blew the wis wisps, wisps of steam rising from the st starry pout, the fuck? Starry spout. Okay, uh, do you believe in stars? Excuse me? Some people believe when you die, you become a star. I actually don't believe that. <laughs> Tord's eyes widened as he stared at the dark blue sky, pierced with a uh, over million, over million diamond specks. Tom followed his gaze and glimpsed at the scattered stars. It wasn't like they were new. They were always there. Yeah, whatever. Stardust flows through their veins. Really? Yup, we all are stars in our own way. I wouldn't really consider myself a star. I sure would, Tom. You're pretty dazzling. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this is starting to become one of those um one of those pairing fanfics that I used to read and it would just like really quickly get into relationship at like the first chapter. This is the second chapter. I I will I'll applaud you for not I, I don't know. I mean in the first chapter Tord was all like your possible love interest. So, mm, I can't really give kudos to you yet. Tom felt a blush warm up his face at the compliment, but quickly shook it off. The human star, toward the only way Tom could describe him, bright, full of energy, practically radiating light. He was a star, all right. Oh my god. Tom sighed contently as Tord outstretched his hand to the sky. A finger was pointed straight upwards. You see that really bright star? They're all bright. No, the particularly bright one. They're all bright, Tord! Fuck. Tom squinted and noticed the one star that was larger and glowing more than the rest. Well, of course, it's a big-ass star! Mm-hmm, I see it. It's called Sirius A, or Dog Star. Why Dog Star? Because it's part of a constellation called Canis Major, which mean, which mean, greater dog in Latin. You forgot the S after means, but then again, it's Taurus, so he might not be that great at English yet. So the brightest star is part of an astronomical dot-to-dot -dot of a large dog? Exactly! Weird. Silence filled the air between the two. Tor gingerly sipped the contents of his starry flask and snuck a quick glance over at Tom. You know, Tom, you're a good guy. How could you fucking know that? <laughs> fucking day two. I think this is day two. How could you know someone's a good guy after you've just met them? Two days. Two fucking days you've met this guy. And you're already like, you're a good guy, Tom. You're a good guy. Love you. Ugh. I am? Mm -hmm. You're the first friend I've had in a while. First of all, you guys didn't even agree to be friends in the first place, okay? Whatever. Oh well, I'll try... I, I'll try be a good friend. Even Tom has... has terrible... I'm sure you will be. It was a normal sentence, but why did it sound so bittersweet when Tord said it? Oof, bittersweet. That's the contents that I'm made of. Tom flicked off the lamp, illuminating his gloomy bedroom. Tord unhooked his leg from the ledge and slipped back into his room. The two maintained tired eye contact for a brief moment until they wearily retreated towards their beds. Good night, kitty boy. Good night, Tord. Okay. Okay. It wasn't... Okay. It was, it was like, just a tiny bit worse. Uh, they did add only from, like, one dialogue... Uh, one dialogue section for the first line of who said what. So that was, that was great. But then, uh, it's still the same. <sighs> I, mm, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yup, thanks for, I don't know, watching, reading, not reading, obviously, because I was the one reading. Thanks for listening to this shit. And, uh, yeah, probably gonna make one tomorrow, if I can, because tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I want to fatten my fucking fat ass up. So, I'll be busy with that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, bye you guys. Dork out.